Okay, so getting down to building the Grand Dra Van de Graaff generator. Uh, I have to say, this is not really a beginner's project. It's going to take quite a while to build it, uh, and you need a, a reasonable amount of tools. Having said that, if you want half a million volts and some really, really big sparks, it's the only way to go. Now, um, I've been building the tower today. And that, there you go, is what it looks like. Okay, it's made from a section of um, drain pipe. That's it there. And that is 60 centimetres long. It's 110 millimetres in diameter, and as I said, 60 centimetres long. Now, the best way to cut that off is starting at one of the level ends that's going to be there on the length of pipe that you buy, measure up 60. Actually, I measured up 62, sorted off roughly. It just makes it a bit easier to handle. So I measured up 60 and put about 10 marks around the circumference. Now, normally on the other bit of pipe, you'll have a flange. If you stick that flange on and line it up with the marks that you've done, you can draw around the flange and you get a neat line that's, in, uh, that's level. Then saw through that line. Now, don't try to saw all the way through because the chances are your saw's going to drift. What you want to do is use a hacksaw, saw part of the way through, then turn the pipe and continue sawing, following the line as you saw. You'll get a pretty good finish that way. You can clean up the rough edges with a trimming knife blade and it scrapes clean really, really easily. Now, these fins here are important. Um, they, stop the, um, they stop the corona creeping down to the bottom end, and so it'll raise the voltage that you can actually reach by using these fins. Now you need eight of them. There are six here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're spaced at 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, and then the rest. At the bottom there, you're gonna have two more, and it clamps on your base plate. So you've got one there, one there, you clamp it together onto the base plate and it holds the base plate firm. This distance here is 10 centimeters. So, and this distance at the bottom was 50 centimetres. So that pretty much gives you the spacing that you need. Now, these fins aren't strictly necessary, but when I was putting this thing together, I really liked the kind of Flash Gordon sort of look it was getting. So I thought, what the hey, I'm gonna spend quite a bit of time making this thing, just go for it. So I put these fins on just to make it a bit more Flash Gordon-y, which I think is really cool, actually. Um, they will help to stabilize the structure and help to stop it wobbling and that will in, in the end actually be a benefit but again you don't really need to put them on i just wasted time i suppose doing it the base plate here is um 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters centered and i put a couple of extra bits on the bottom here and here to give it a bit of lateral stability okay so that's that's the basic thing now it's made out of this stuff this is builder's board it's used um, predominantly by window fitters and um, roofline fitters. Uh, it comes in a huge range of sizes from sort of 10 centimeters up to 50 centimeters. It comes in a variety of thicknesses from 0.8 mil up to 1.8. Actually, I think you can get 2.5. You can get some really th uh, thick stuff anyway. It's a PVC with a foam core and it's incredibly easy to cut. You can cut it with a handsaw or a hacksaw or a trimming knife. Uh, it sands really easily. It's really, really good stuff and I use it for all my high voltage models. The problem with working in timber is that uh, at a high voltage, actually timber is not an insulator, it's a conductor. Um, so you can't really use timber for this kind of thing. If you do, you're gonna have to put some pretty serious insulation between any of the working parts and the timber structure that you've made. With this thing, you don't have to bother. You just build it, you're done. It glues together with cyanoacrylic or super glue. Um, I buy these. You can get them from Wix, I think Home Depot. They come three to a pack and they're about a tenner and they go a long way. Once you've glued this stuff together, um, you really can't break it open. The only way of getting it open is to break the board so that the joint is incredibly strong. Excellent stuff. Okay. Now the fins, what I did was um, I got a piece of the board and I marked out eight of them and they're 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres and obviously the centres are seven and a half and, and drilled out a circle. 
Now, um, there's lots of ways of actually getting a circle. Obviously, you can use a circle saw. But what I use is this thing. It's a trepanning tool or a variable hole cutter. It's got a point there and a cutting blade there. You put it into your drill, put it out in the center, set it going, and it cuts the circle out for you. It's a lethal bit of kit. Um, this sticks out. So when it's spinning, you've got to keep your legs well out of the way and any cables well out of the way as well. So it is pretty sort of scary to use the first time, but um, it's really, really good and I can recommend it. This one is a Silverline product. I think it cost me seven pounds from Tool Station. I use it a lot, it's an excellent thing. If you want to be a bit of a purist, that is building it from scrap, and you don't want to go out and get the tools or you don't have the tool, you can make a very similar thing. Um, just use a bit of timber. I uh, get two nails, drill a couple of holes in, uh, whack one nail in with the point, and file the other nail to a cutting point. And you can see what the cutting point looks like, I think. Yes, there you go. Okay, so that's the shape you're going to want to your cutting point, and you can file the other nail like that. The distance between the two centers of the holes you drill are obviously the size of the hole that you want. You press the uh, nail in and score around and round and round and you'll score out your circle and uh, flip it over score again and the circle will drop out the benefit of doing it this way is um, you really get a good circle you get a good size you've got a lot of um, control over the size and, and you want a pretty tight fit when you put those fins onto that pipe you don't want them to wobble um, in this case of course it's part of the structure so the pipe really needs to be stably held in there it's forming like a cradle okay so these are really quite a good fit uh, and they're because at one one eleven one twelve something like that and they just slide on uh, again a bit of super glue on there um, don't try to super glue it then slide them on slide them on mark where you want it put a ring of super glue and just slide them back up about a minute or two they'll be rock solid and you there'll be no moving them okay um, but again cut those holes using some kind of scorer. If you try to use something like a jigsaw and a drill bit, you'll be at it forever uh, and it'll take you quite a while with a file and a sander to cut it down. If you do use this, you're going to find it just melt the plastic. Uh, it's because of the speed and the, yeah, this is a bit old and worn actually, but it does melt the plastic and you get some really hard lumps that you've got to remove. What I do is I use this. It's a flap wheel. I chuck it into my drill, fix my drill to the bench, set it going, and then hold the discs in there and lightly take off those nodules. It does a really good job, it does it quite quickly, it only takes a few seconds to do that, and um, you test fit it as you go, because you don't want to take, take too much off any particular side. Um, that's about it really. Oh, the, the best, you know, I mentioned the best play, it's, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, here's what you're aiming for. Okay. Now you can see it's just a straight tube down there. That's where the belt's going to go. Here at the base, we're going to have that fix into another sub base where the roller will be there. So that's what you're aiming for in this thing. It's fairly heavy, fairly sizable. And we'll get on with the next bit tomorrow and show you about that. Anyway, enjoy.